Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Oscar Delta. We are here with Advice with Andrew. This is a new series I'm starting where you guys send me your advice questions. I answer them to the best of my ability. I would like to say before I start this, I am not a therapist or, you know, anything like that. I'm just giving you my advice on the way that I see things. You do not have to take this advice personally. You do not even have to listen to my advice. It is just nice to hear someone else's perspective on things every now and then. So, with that being said, let's jump right into the first question. First person asked to stay anonymous. They will stay that way. And their question is, I can't get friends that are girls so that I can't get a girlfriend. With a sad face. Don't use my name. You can say my age, though. I am 13. Well, I will start off by saying, Mr. Anonymous, at the age of 13, a girlfriend, trust me, is the last thing you need to worry about. I know I was 13 once, and, you know, at that age, you start thinking, girls, girls, you know, I love girls. Let's, let's start dating. But trust me, it's not what it is at the age of 13. It's not what a relationship really is is supposed to be you know a relationship is supposed to be shared between two people who love each other or who really like each other and you know see potential in loving the person that they are dating and I just believe at the age of 13 that that's not exactly something that you can I don't really believe I I think that you can feel love at the age of 13 but it's extremely rare and it, at 13, your priorities need to be in other places. Focus on school. Focus on being friends with those girls. I know you did say, I can't get friends that are girls. And, you know, I will address that right now. It's probably just a problem with your confidence. I mean, the fact that you're emailing me right now asking me for advice about the fact that you can't get friends with your girls is probably because you need that help. You need confidence. I, I say you just be very confident. You stop worrying about getting a girlfriend and it'll happen eventually. I mean, you're not even in high school yet at the age of 13. Wait for high school. There's no reason that there's no reason to have a girlfriend before that. I mean, yeah, it is fun and yeah, it is a fun little learning experience, you know. Ooh, I hugged her. Ooh, I kissed her. Ooh. But really, it's not that important. It's not as important as you are stressing it out to be. Trust me, my friend. Focus on whatever makes you happy. Focus on your friends. Focus on school. Keep playing video games. You know, that's why you're here on my channel. And keep doing what you do. And eventually, it'll come to you naturally at the age of 13. I was so shy. I was just this absolutely quiet, shy person. You know, I still technically am that quiet shy person but you you grow and you develop and you mature and trust me that's the last thing you need to be thinking about so if you're going to take one thing from this just be very very confident and you can be friends with girls there's lots of girls out there that like things that you're gonna like so just approach them in a way to be friends with them don't approach them in a way to be in a relationship with them and i'm sure that your results will be much better so yes i hope that helped you and we will move on to the next question right now so this next question comes from Claudia. I will not say her last name. She did say I could say her name, but I'm not going to go out there and, you know, throw her under the bus, shall I say. So her question is, hey, Andrew, I saw your tweet and your timing was perfect because I need some advice. There's this boy who I had a relationship with about a year ago, and over the past couple of months, we've been talking more. He said to me that he wanted to give it another go. The reason I split up with him was that he cared more about what his friend said about me. He is in a more popular group than me. I get along with some of his friends and tried to make an effort with the ones who was so-called bitching about me. I'm not the type of girl who flirts or anything. I don't even know how, to be honest. Ha <laughs> ha. So give it another go with him or just be friends. Thanks for doing this, Andrew. It would help out a lot. Also, love your videos with a big, nice, happy face. Well, Claudia... <sighs> I'm glad you asked me this question because this one is a very, this is a question that I can relate to a million percent. Now, when I first started dating Stephanie, you know, we've been together three and a half years now and, you know, I could not ask for a better relationship. I love her, but you do have your hardships along the way. And one of the biggest problems that we had in our relationship was um, her friends. I, you know, I'm not going to say my friends. My friends were generally pretty good. I'm not just throwing her under the bus here, but, you know, it is what it is. And she had some friends that definitely didn't like me. Actually, I would say hated me, and they went out of their way to absolutely ruin our relationship. And it seems to me like you're going through the same thing, actually, except they succeeded and you guys did break up. And it really sucks to hear that. Now, I will say... 
that it took a long time before this problem was cured. Uh, when you get into a relationship with someone and you have friends for your whole life, it's hard to just be like, okay, friends, I have someone now, so fuck off. Because what ends up happening is, or what could end up happening is, you and that person that you're dating could just not work out one day. And then at that point, you just told your friends that your girlfriend or boyfriend, in your case, your girlfriend, because I'm talking about your boyfriend here, if you guys don't work out in say a couple years or even a couple months, you know, that would be even worse and And he just basically put you ahead of his friends now He just lost his friends and his girlfriend and at that point. He's just he, he would just be lonely so I do see where he's coming from and I would like you to see where he's coming from as well It's very hard to just take a girlfriend over a, Your best friend especially when you're a guy now I do I, I when I say especially when you're a guy I'm not being sexist about it but you know guys do live by that bros before hoes code it's not something that I live by at all you know when Stephanie came along when I knew she was the right one I, you know I do still have my friends but I would like to say that if it came down to it Stephanie is a very 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 important thing in my life I do want to be with her for the rest of my life so it would not be a very tough decision for me however a lot of guys live by the bros before hoes code and when you are with a girl and your boys are saying you know you can't be with this girl you can't be with this girl then it's very very tough to just not break up with that girl it you get persuaded very very easily now i will say in the case of my relationship it did take a long time but eventually stephanie did see that she obviously loved me and it was very very important to not lose me and in the end that friend who was very much of a cancer to our relationship is no longer in her life anymore and i can say that i am forever grateful for, to her for that because i <laughs> i went through worlds and worlds of hell with this person and it was very tough for me so, to answer your question, do I give it another go with him or just be friends? I think before you give it another go, you need to ask him a very a couple very important questions. And I think the very first question you need to ask him is, what are your priorities right now in life in terms of me, in terms of relationships? I don't know your age because you didn't specify it, but I will say um, <laughs> that your email was very grammatically strong. You know, you did structure your sentences very well. Uh, there's not a, no spare spelling errors or anything like that. So I'm going to guess that you are in your late teens or you're just a very, very smart 13-year-old. <laughs> but I'm going to guess you're 16, 17, 18. And I'm going to say that at that point, at that age, you can have a very serious relationship. And there's a few things that your boyfriend or soon-to-be or ex or I don't know what to call him, this guy can do. He can approach his friends and say, listen... I, I have feelings for Claudia, you need to back off, I do like her, you guys need to respect the, my feelings, and there has to be a way that I can balance my friends and my girlfriend. Or, he can drop them completely, or if you talk to him and he says, you know, my friends are more important than you, blah 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 blah, then I just would not suggest getting back together with him, it's just going to be a waste of time, and in the end, you guys are just going to end up breaking up again the same way that you guys broke up the first time because someone who's going to keep listening to their friends especially when their friends got especially when his friends got their way the first time they're going to think that they could just get their way again and they're going to persuade him to leave you again and it's just not going to be feasible for you it's just going to waste your time also i do have a friend who is in a situation like yours However, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you're a nice person and you're not the type of person his girlfriend is. I'm not going to mention his name because my friends do watch my videos. But, you know, if they do watch this, they're going to know exactly who I'm talking about. Now, my friend's girlfriend treats him like absolute dirt. He's been with her for like three years now. And all of his friends, you know, I tend to keep my mouth shut because I'm in a relationship. And the last thing I want to do is ruin someone else's relationship. But all of my friends and his friends and just basically everyone I know they tell him listen you need to leave this girl but obviously there's something there that he sees that nobody else sees he obviously loves this girl because no matter what people say he is still with her and I think that's the kind of the situation that you're looking at here I'm not saying you're a bitch or anything uh, don't uh, don't take me wrong I'm not um, that's not what I'm saying but what I'm saying is if this guy sees something special in you it will not matter what his friends will say uh, he would stay with you so I think before you get back together with him, before you commit to him, I think what you should do is ask him the very important question of 
Will you defend me if we get back together again? Will you make me one of your priorities? Not your highest priority, but one of your priorities. Because clearly the first time you were not a priority in his life. And his friends definitely dominated that priority list. Um, so yeah, I really hope this... Uh, so yeah, I really hope this helped you. Uh, if it didn't... I'm sorry if it did. Great. And I hope things work out with you guys. I really do. I like seeing things happen between two people who really like each other. So I hope your situation works out for you. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did. I had a lot of fun recording it. You guys can send in your advice questions at advicewithandrew at gmail.com. It is right there on the screen. And till next time, guys, take it easy, Delta.